the world doesn't need another capsule. Elon Musk's statement is proving to be true. Despite setbacks, SpaceX has rebounded impressively, continuing to create miracles with upcoming crew missions. In stark contrast, the disappointing Starliner has not only failed to return, but its future seems increasingly uncertain. Now is the time for Starliner to repay everything to the American people. Meanwhile, ULA has taken a new step with their workhorse rocket, the Atlas V. However, a bleak future might be in store for them. Let's find out more in today's episode of Great SpaceX. The recent return of the Falcon 9 after a two-week hiatus has reignited optimism within the aerospace industry of the United States. Building on this momentum, we now look forward to the upcoming crewed missions this reliable rocket will carry. Following the successful Crew 8 mission in March, SpaceX is preparing for its next mission under NASA's commercial crew program, Crew 9. NASA has officially set the launch date for this mission as August 18th, just a few weeks away. Are you ready? However, this schedule is contingent upon several critical factors. Firstly, SpaceX must conduct a test fire of the upper stage used in the mission to ensure its reliability. Additionally, the timing depends on the departure of Boeing's CST-100 Starliner spacecraft, which is currently docked at the station for the crew flight test mission. For NASA to facilitate a direct handover where Crew-9 arrives before Crew-8 departs, Starliner must vacate its docking port. Despite these dependencies, I am confident that any potential issues will be resolved and the schedule will proceed as planned. So, let's prepare for this exciting mission. Crew-9 is slated to launch from LC-39A. The spacecraft assigned to this mission will be Freedom, which has already demonstrated its capabilities on three previous missions, Crew-4, Axiom-2, and Axiom-3. Currently, the Crew-9 mission includes three NASA astronauts, Zena Cardman, Nick Haig, and Stephanie Wilson, and one Roscosmos astronaut, Alexander Gorbanov. The crew is fully prepared for the mission. Nick Haig expressed his confidence, stating, I'm extremely confident in the team and the approach they've taken. I'm excited to strap onto the rocket when the team decides it's time to go. Crew-9 marks SpaceX's ninth Dragon mission under the Commercial Crew Program, or CCP, contract, and their 10th NASA mission overall, including the demonstration mission. Factoring in private missions, it'll be the 14th mission for the Dragon spacecraft. With the completion of Crew-9, SpaceX will only have five missions remaining under NASA's current contract, showcasing significant progress and a strong track record. These accomplishments highlight SpaceX's superiority over its competitor, Boeing's Starliner. The Starliner spacecraft has yet to complete its test mission. Despite numerous delays for testing and problem evaluation, NASA and Boeing have not confirmed an official return date. Since Starliner docked with the ISS, the mission has extended beyond 50 days, far exceeding the original plan of 8 to 10. Concerns have arisen as the Starliner's battery system is designed to operate in space for approximately 45 days. Although NASA and Boeing assert that the mission could last up to 90 days, the prospect of a timely return seems increasingly uncertain. When hearing reasons such as spending time to test and check for problems, it feels like NASA and Boeing are just making excuses for their inability to handle the issues with the current Starliner. However, even if we temporarily accept these explanations, the question remains, are they confident that these incidents won't recur on the next flight? While that question remains unanswered, a recent update from NASA and Boeing appears to contradict their previous statements. The Starliner 1 mission, which has been cited as a reason for the current delay, will itself be delayed. Originally scheduled for early 2025, the mission will now be pushed back to August of 2025 due to the ongoing issues with the CFT mission. Yes, you heard that correct, August of 2025. This is half a year later than initially expected, meaning it'll be more than a year from now until the next Starliner mission is set to launch, if there are no further delays, that is. Also, I'd like to take the time to congratulate those who correctly answered the question I posed in the previous episode. Will Crew-10 or Starliner-1 launch first? The answer is now clear, Crew-10 will launch first likely around February, following the Crew-9 mission. In addition to the previously mentioned reasons, the delay of the Starliner-1 mission is also due to another embarrassing reason. 
According to Steve Stitch, NASA's commercial crew program manager, the Starliner 1 mission will be double booked with Crew 11. This arrangement might be to safeguard against any additional delays with Starliner. The Crew 11 mission has not yet set a specific launch date or crew members, but it is expected to launch in the second half of the year, similar to the upcoming Crew 9. This indicates that NASA and Boeing lack confidence in their current efforts to resolve Starliner's problems. If they are hesitant, then why are they wasting so much time? This delay could cause chaos on the ISS, impacting other missions like the upcoming Crew 9. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel to stay updated on SpaceX's development journey. Indeed, the postponement of the current mission and the subsequent one is yet another major embarrassment for Boeing and their $4.5 billion spacecraft. These delays will disrupt future schedules. Since the first mission's schedule has been pushed back to the second half of 2025, the subsequent years for Starliner will be extremely busy. Following Starliner 1, Boeing will have to launch five more missions before the ISS is retired around 2030. One mission a year may not sound too difficult, but that's only true if Starliner 1 actually launches in 2025. Given the current situation, Starliner is facing numerous challenges, making this task increasingly difficult. If they can't meet these deadlines or face further delays, they may have to conduct two missions in one year, which seems nearly impossible with Boeing's current capabilities. Without even thinking twice, given what they're showing, I believe Starliner doesn't deserve crew launch certification, even if it completes the CFT mission. Flying on such an unreliable vehicle into space, who would even dare to do such a thing? It's time for Boeing to give everything back to NASA and the American people. That's the four and a half billion US dollars they received. That's the expectations everyone placed on them. That's the time they wasted, but still can't even achieve a simple success. In any case, perhaps NASA should consider canceling this project. They've done so with many recent missions like Viper and Chandra. Cancel this black hole and allocate the resources to SpaceX. Everything would be faster, cheaper, more efficient, and more reliable. Comment, leave it to Dragon in the comments section down below if you agree. Next, let's move on to another launch pad in Florida, SLC-41, where ULA just launched an Atlas V rocket. Specifically, the rocket lifted off at 6.45 a.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time from SLC-41 to launch the USS F-51 mission, a classified national security space launch mission. The mission was confirmed to have no issues during the countdown and fueling. The launch also went smoothly, with ULA later confirming, Payload fairing jettison is confirmed by Atlas V from the edge of space to expose the spacecraft after ascent through the atmosphere. Jim Horn, Senior Material Leader for Launch Execution Delta, part of the Space Force's Space Systems Command, or SSC, said, The Space Force Atlas V team has an amazing record of serving our national security space lift needs. We have always worked extremely well with this team and this mission, our last launch with the Atlas V, is looking great. Walt Lauderdale, Mission Director for USSF-51, added, the Atlas V launch system has been the stalwart for national security launches for the past 20 years. This mission, together with all those preceding, demonstrates the Atlas V integrated government slash industry team's commitment to safely deliver critical assets to space. This mission marked ULA's 100th national security mission and the last NSSL launch on an Atlas V rocket. That's a significant achievement for a rocket that has been a long-time symbol of the aerospace industry. However, this marks the beginning of a gloomy future. The Atlas V has 15 more missions before it retires, all of which have been assigned to missions like Starliner, Viasat-3, and Kuiper. That means future national security launch missions will be conducted by Vulcan. However, this new rocket has not successfully launched since its January mission. Even with the support of Atlas V or previously the Delta IV Heavy, ULA is losing ground to SpaceX. Now, without Atlas V, ULA faces a bleak future. The backlog of Phase II NSSL missions is still significant. The USSF-51 mission, initially assigned to ULA in 2022, had to be transferred to Atlas V due to Vulcan's delays. While struggling to complete Phase 2, ULA will face a new challenge in Phase 3 of the contract with SpaceX and Blue Origin. 
Given current capabilities, the launch rate for Phase 3 may largely fall to SpaceX, officially marking ULA's failure in their primary market. This would be indeed a sad future for ULA, but let's wait and see what happens. For now, let's express our gratitude to Atlas V for its contributions to the US aerospace industry over the years. From all of us here at Great SpaceX, we thank you so much for your service. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.